All right. Now, you guys are definitely going to be doing some of these problems. The reason why is this takes us back to doing uh, multiplying decimals that uh, we did previously. All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, when we're multiplying um, scientific notation, basically what we're going to be doing is multiplying our a's, our number five, and then we're basically going to use our rules of exponents um, to add our powers for our exponents. So the first thing we're going to want to do is multiply 3.4 times 4.1. Um, now, if you guys remember, when we're multiplying, um, when we're multiplying with decimals, we always want to multiply our smaller number on the bottom. So I'm actually going to rewrite this as 4.1 times 3.4. All right. And then we also want to make sure that our decimal points are aligned. All right. Does everybody follow me so far? Remember this? Then basically, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Create my spacer. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Then I basically add my rows. 4, 9, 1, 3. Then I count the spaces that are um, to the right of the exponent, which are 1 or 2. So I start here and I move over, so 13.94. So I have 13.94 times 10 to the 3 plus 8. Do you guys follow me with my rules of exponents with the base 10? You're just adding the exponents, right? So I have 13.94 times 10 to the 11th power. Now, what I want you guys to understand is, since this is 10 to the 11th power, I'm going to be moving this decimal point 11 spaces to the right, correct? Yes? Now, um, Ashley, what is the problem with this answer right here? 13. What is it? Why can't it be 13? It needs to be less than 10, right? So I'm going to be moving this over 11 spaces. Where do I need to put this? What, between what two numbers do I need to put it between? So I need to put it. So if I'm already going 11 spaces over here, if I put it over here, how many spaces am I going to have to go to the right? Well, think if we're counting 11, right? So if I go one more, now how many? It's 12, right? Does everybody see that? If you're going 11 spaces to the right, if you, move, if you move the decimal point to here, now you have to go 12 spaces. So you're going to write your answer as 1.394 times 10 to the 12th. Please be very careful with making sure that your scientific notation